A quick look through MIT's website shows classes in rocket engineering and a host of classes useful in building things like tunnels, just the kind of expertise Hamas needs. It is not too much to think. It's probably not much of a leap to say these kids, kids, leading pro-Hamas rallies might go back home and use their MIT education, aerospace, and similar fields to help people like Hamas. Glenn Ignazio knows a thing or two about tunnel warfare, retired Air Force Special Operations Commander. It's always good to see you, sir. Thank you. Um, is this too far of a leap? No, I don't think so. If you take a look at statistically across the United States, major universities, most of the tuition actually that is the highest it comes from individuals outside the United States. Uh, because they're not citizens of the state, they pay a higher rate and there's a higher income ratio that, that ties to the colleges. That's one. And, you know, second of all is because that ability to learn such advanced mathematics, aerodynamics, and, and structural analysis is available to anybody in the world, as long as you can get the student visa, you can. So I, I don't put that past anybody. We've seen that historically in the, in the past. We educate sometimes our adversaries. It's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Foreign students in the United States, Iran, 10,812, 47 percent of them studying engineering. Shocking. Uh, from uh, Palestine, this would be West Bank or Gaza, 457. Are there any safeguards? I mean, if, I, if I'm a, a guy from Iran, uh, maybe a 27-year-old from Iran who has perfect English because I'm a member of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, is there anything from, to keep me from enrolling at MIT and learning rocket engineering and telemetry and all that other good stuff? As long as you can get a student visa, which means you're accepted to a college, there should be a vetting process that, that is followed. But uh, basically, you can go to the university and learn it. Uh, what, their, what their remote policy is, I, I, would, I don't even know. That's a good question as well to, to definitely look into. But as far as come to the United States, you know, student visa is something that's that's provided to go to school here. But, yeah. you know, to learn what you're learning and taking it back overseas, you just don't know what the intent is. Is it good or bad? And, you know, that's a flip of a coin. How complicated are what we see in Gaza, 300 miles of tunnels uh, reinforced with steel, concrete, ventilator shafts, uh, air vents, oxygen systems, uh, mazes? They call it the Gaza metro system. It's larger uh, in terms of tunneling than some major city subways. How hard is that to build? Uh, it's very complicated because these are more than 30 feet plus uh, below the surface. That's one. So it, it takes a lot of engineering. It takes a lot of design. It takes a lot of equipment. We've seen a lot of the money that's gone to Gaza for yeah. the people of Gaza being funneled into this. But it, it's not just these tunnels. What's interesting is they actually have uh, bulletproof doors that have been found, even explosive uh, proof doors and almost like a bunker system that's actually very reinforced underground. And so the hard part is a lot of these actually have been built underneath hospitals, and, and that is the interesting part is as soon as you use a hospital or facility, which is a protected resource, in any way, directly or indirectly against the adversary, you have compromised that as a protected resource. So, for example, in this situation, Israel could have struck the hospital legally by the law of armed conflict. It's on the website of the International Red Cross. I'm glad they didn't and they prosecuted this way. But we're talking about huge complexes of command and control systems underground, yeah. not just the, the tunnels. No, the look, city, it's, you know? Yeah. And look, the, the fact of the matter is the Israelis do things differently. They, they do their best. I, co I covered the idea for a long time as a foreign correspondent. They, they do make a real effort to prevent civilian casualties. They happen, but they make an effort compared to Hamas who views civilian casualties, even their own people, and they'll say this as a, as a success story because they enjoy the PR. Last Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.